guys and welcome to another Minecraft video where today, oh my gosh, this is the best client ever. Now to start the video off, I want to give credit to FirePro9978 for making this client. Yes, he is the mod developer for this client and the client is called the Flame Client. This is a combination of Drag OP, Vero X codes, Virus, and Hydem, and every other hack client that you can think of. Um, now, yeah, this is till date, to date, the best hack client um, of 2016. Well, I mean, I'm saying that, but still, I, it's maybe it's because I'm just like too excited for this client. But yeah, this is, um, in my opinion, the best hacked client till date i mean today um but yeah let's get right into the mod review shall we so as you guys can see first of all on the main screen um on the bottom left corner it says flame client 58 modules loaded and as you guys can see on the screen right now um in drag op it only says drag op 17 or 18 modules loaded sometimes it's 17 or sometimes it's 18 sometimes it's 19 but it doesn't go past 20 and this um number is the number of modules in the hacked client and yeah um let's get right into the video shall we um so this video is going to be in two parts um obviously and um okay this is a really laggy world but yeah it's okay um this because this um client is such a big client this is going to be a two-part video of um one part of me hacking um, and trying trying this out in a single player world and the second part we're gonna try it out in servers So yeah, let's um, do this shall we first of all we shall open the client and because this is a single player world It is going to be kind of slow. Um, please um, No, hey, please. Um, but ah, as you guys can see look at the client amount like look at the mod amount on this on like literally take a second to think about how much time the mod developer put in developing this mod like lit look look at that look at I I am literally speechless right now um okay let's get right into the mod review shall we after all that's all you guys are here for anyways first of all um, we have all of the basic mods from Drag OP, and as you guys can see this list is really long so yeah this is going to be a long video warning this is going to be a long video. So now let's start off with um, the first mod, Fred Manager from DragoP. Y'all know what that is. If you do not know, please go watch my DragoP video. We only have target only, which only like, gives you the uh, option to target players and mobs. Um, you can, if you want to target players, you can just check target players. If you want to target mobs, then check target mobs. If you want to target both, then check both. We also have bypass, LBSG, anti cheat, vanilla, and mini box anti cheat, which is a new feature that they added into um, the anti cheat. So we also have disable all, which is currently not in Drag OP, but it disables all mods in one click, which is really efficient. Um, indeed, we also have the game mode changer as you guys can see I can um, change my game mode if I want to okay I didn't mean to click that um, I can change my game mode into survival very nice looking very nice looking indeed as you guys can see I am in survival Right now, so yeah, that's the basic stuff. We also have web browser from drag OP now Let's get into the interesting stuff shall we we got combat mode under the game mode changer. Let's see what that can do. Um, so basically, um, it automatically aims the screen slash crosshair near the selected type of entity at target only. So this is basically, um, let's see, this is aimbot, I guess. Um, let's just change our game mode back to creative so that um, we can spawn some mobs, all that jazz. Let's see, um, let's spawn a husk, shall we? Okay. Um, we need our difficulty on. Let's spawn a husk and try and to turn that um, combat mode thing on. As you guys can see, yeah, it's aimbot. Um, very nice looking indeed. You can also um, change the range of aim um, in the settings of this mod. So as you guys can see, as he walks away from me, I am no longer aiming at him. But you can change um, the aim 
obviously. We also got aim bow T. Um, let's check what that is. It automatically aims the screen cross slash crosshair if you're holding a bow near the selected type of entity in target only. So the range is um, automatically set to 100. But yeah, let's just get ourselves a nifty difty bow, shall we? So, um... I do not have that on just okay that was a nice shot right there but yeah as you guys can see it automatically aims for you and it is a 100 percent um hit if you use aimbow um but sometimes if the mobs are moving then it's not a 100 percent hit but yeah as you guys can see i'm targeting mobs like crazy right now like literally look at that please don't run cow please oh my god you're gonna run like crazy aren't you okay but yeah um, let's turn that off since we do not need it. We also have behind hit. Let's check out what that is. Um, the description says when you hit the player, it teleports you behind the player. Okay. I mean, why not? We can test it on um, a cow right here. Let, let's just let's just turn it on first, um, or it will not hit. Okay. Behind hit. Boom shack lock. Holy crap, dude. So this is like um, TP Aura from Drago P, but they just renamed it. Okay, that's nice. We also got grapple. Um, don't know what that means. Um, it says when you hit the player, it will TP you to the player. I mean, okay. I think that's another way for TP or let's um go test it out on this cow again. Oh my Jesus Christ, dude. Okay, so I do not recommend using grapple in single player worlds or servers cuz it will just teleport you around and glitch you out of the world. Let's get right into the next mod, shall we? The next mod is Reach. Basically what it does is allows you to have 8 block reach by setting you in creative. Consequences are that you can't see your health or if you will get into that later. So basically this is a this is just another game mode changing button. Um, reach so um, let's test it out shall we um, we are in survival right now um, as we turn on reach we are back in creative which is I mean it's it's really nice okay um, let's get right into the next mod shall we um, so this is called life counter it shows your health even in creative mode let's just um, turn that um, life counter on as you guys can see on the top of the inventory bar we have the HP 20 and a half hearts um, let's just test this out um, to see if it's accurate shall we um, let's just change our game mode into survival let this husk hit us for a um, I mean for one time maybe and yeah as you guys can see on the um, HP bar it says 17 I mean 18 and a half hearts um okay f 15 half hearts that i mean that's that's nice you can stop hitting me now um husk please thank you very much okay um but yeah that's what life counter does still it's 12 and a half hearts on the screen right now let's just change reach away since we do not need it anymore we also have airwalk okay so airwalk um allows you to walk on air similar to no down glide but differently from um, no down glide though. Let's just build ourselves a um, little platform right here so that we can walk um, on air. Um, differently though, um, you can see the motion while walking, like literally. Um, it's like no down glide, but yeah, you can see um, your motion while walking if you know what um, that means. This bypasses a lot of server anti cheats and it's um, really, really nice. Um, just really, really nice. Okay. Um, next mod, auto combat log, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, like literally this is the best, like the description says automatically teleports you to spawn when on 1 to 4 hearts, um, I think he meant 1 to 4 hearts, but it says 1 to 4 heart. Um, it doesn't work on servers with anti-combat log or slash spawn commands including slash hub and lobby, so basically what he says right here is that this type of mod will not work in LBSG or any type of servers like that. But in elite servers, though, um, without the slash spawn plugin, it will definitely work when you are almost dead. Um, we, we can't test this out in a single player world because, um, I mean, it's a single player world. So let's get right into the next one. Tap Tower. I have did... A review on this um, I think before jumps you when you tap a block some type of grammar issue um, but I mean it's it's all right tap tower let's just turn that on as you guys can see holy crap dude I 
I'm literally not tapping the jump um, button, but still, look at that, look at that. Like, literally, look at that. So basically, um, let's just try this out without anything in our hand. Let's just throw those oak saplings out, and as you guys can see, holy crap um so basically what this does is whenever you tap on a block you can just jump um and it's infinite jumps so you can like um this is an alternative for fly um for um, if like servers don't have anti-cheat and all that um this is a really good alternative for fly okay so um let's just turn that off get right into the next one spam obviously is automatically spams the chat so um, let, let's see what, what this does in sync. Okay, it doesn't do anything. Um, oh, actually it does um, do stuff in single player worlds. And this bypasses um, server anti-cheats. Like LBSG server, it bypasses the LBSG server anti-cheat because it changes the text um, every time you try to send it out. As you guys can see on the screen right now, it's just going up. Um, let's just turn that off before we lag out of the world. Okay, um, next up we have Auto S Jump. What it does is it automatically sprint jumps when on the ground. It doesn't work in air, um, obviously. Let's just turn that on. As you guys can see, holy crap. I mean, it's not it's not sprint jumping, but it, it's a anti-AFK way. It's like, it's a mod that um, anti-AFKs you. Like, yeah. Um, okay, let's just turn that off um, since we do not need it. Okay, Jetpack. Holy crap, Jetpack. Um, you guys are going to be thrilled when you see this. Boosts you up, um, slash down, and forward whenever you look. Like, I think he meant wherever, but yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, let's just turn that on as you guys can so Holy crap, dude. This is like PC flying. Like, dude, literally look at that. Holy crap, dude. Like, it, it just flies you toward wherever you look. Like... Dude, literally, oh my god. We we need to turn that off um, before we um, lag out of the, our world. I mean, because this mod does bring a lot of lag um, to worlds, even when you are in single player. Next up, we have Crouch Speed. Makes you auto-walk with normal speed while crouching. Okay, uh, that that's a nice mod. I mean, um, but first of all, you'll, you will have to crouch. So basically what it does, um, it is really useful. And um, PvP when you want to sneak up on people as you guys can see I'm crouching and I am holy crapping walking like dude literally look at that I am saying literally like oh my god I, I, I don't know man um, but yeah crouch speed real nice mod um, next up next up we have fast eat first of all we'll, we'll have to go to survival some fast eat on give ourselves some food like we, we need to be um okay Mr. Husk, did you just kill me? Okay, that husk just killed. Holy crap. Um, I will have to turn difficulty off and on again. Okay, that's really nice. Um, okay. Um, we will need to go into survival, and somehow the hearts are not showing up, so I will be right back. Okay, let's get right back into the video, shall we? So now, as you guys can see, I have added hunger to, um, I have added some potion effects, which are hunger and regen, just so we do not die, and we do have difficulty up, um, and ready to go. So now, let's just turn on... Um, let's see, where is it at? There are, like, so many mods. Um, please be patient with me. Ah, there we go. Um, Fast Eat. Very nice indeed. Let's just be, um, decent to ourselves and give ourselves, I mean, we can give ourselves some raw pork chop. And, um, we have Fast Eat on, don't we? So, as you guys can see, holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Dude, like, literally look at that. Oh, my God. Um, and some of y'all have been complaining in the comments um, of this uh, about this mod, and sa says, and you guys said that um, it doesn't work in multiplayer. I'm going to test it out later, but right now it is working absolutely fine for me in single player. So yeah, let's get rid of the potion effects and turn the day to um, turn the time to day, 
and we shall remove all potion effects um and that is good okay as you guys can see that fast eat is doing its job right there okay that is really nice um but yeah let's just turn fast eat off for now next up we have tracers obviously i've did um a mod review on this before it traces mobs players and even dropped items like dude literally look at that it traces even dropped items. let's just drop um, these oak saplings in front of us and as you guys can see a new tracer line has been born okay let's just um, turn that off it's really useful if you want to find players um, and servers and all that jazz we also have next up place TP you will be teleported to the block you place okay I mean why not sometimes you just want to teleport to the blocks you place obviously but yeah as you guys can see it is teleporting me to the block um, that I'm placing, oh my god, like, literally look at this. I think this is a, um, great way to build bridges and all that jazz. Like, look at that, I am building like crazy right here. Okay, um, but I don't recommend using this mod because sometimes it will, if you're playing Skywars, it will get you, um, TP'd off the edge and all that jazz. Um, next up, we have zoom speed. Makes your speed go zoom. Um, I don't really know what that means, but later on, um, I did some um, research and I found out that zoom speed is actually bunny hop, or in some way, bunny hop. But as you guys can see, whenever I jump, holy crap, dude, look at that speed. Um, I guess um, that's... Um, what he means by zoom okay um that was a bad joke that was a really bad joke okay so we have turned off that mod next up we have tap teleport obviously teleports you to wherever you tap um very nice mod also in drag op um okay so let's just turn that off since we do not need it in tangibility holy crap that is a hard word i mean I mean, I'm in high school, but still, intangibility. Just, it's just sometimes awkward saying it, but let's just take a look at what it does. It allows you to walk into walls. So basically, this is just a working wall hack um, for Minecraft Pocket Edition. Okay, let's turn that on. Let's just, um, we, we, we have built some um, walls right here. We can walk through them. I mean, why not? Let's just do this shout. Holy, holy, holy moly crap. Like, dude, li literally look at this. I am, I have walked through, like, I have walked through that. Wow, that is a long wall, by the way. And by the way, guys, um, you can get glitched out of the world if you do jump while walking through the walls, but I mean, it's okay. Just as long as you don't jump, um, wall hack, um, a really nice mod, really nice mod indeed. We also have next on the list, anti-grief, holy crap, makes you unable to break or place blocks. Okay, let's, let's turn that, I, I, I don't, I don't see, um, any reason for you to use that, but yeah, it does, it can't, it, it only, well, let's just tr try this out, shall we? Okay, it doesn't, it can't let you break blocks, and it can't let you place blocks, oh, I mean, that's nice. Oh, do I still have wall hack on? I, um, I don't have wall hack on, but somehow I'm still walking through walls. Okay, that's nice. But yeah, I can't place blocks. And let's just try to break, the, break this chicken out of my way, please. And I cannot break blocks. Okay, anti-group. I guess it's an alternative for servers. Okay, next up we got twerk. Um, uh, makes you twerk it like Miley Cyrus. Um, okay. Let's just turn that on. Um, okay, as you guys can see, the crouch button is moving by itself. I mean, I myself cannot tap it like that. Um, it's it's just oh okay, um okay. Oh uh, that that that's a weird mod. I don't I don't get why anyone would want to use that. But sometimes maybe you you're trolling people. I guess. Okay, next up we got derp. Uh, moves your screen around derpishly. Okay, I mean, why not? It's It works really fine with Twerk, I guess. Holy crap! Oh my god, that's making me nauseous. Oh my... I'm not using that mod. I am definitely not using that mod. Okay, next up on the list, we got speed. Um, We have standard speed, jump speed, and bunny hop. Um, So standard speed 
um, gives you speed without any modification. Jump speed jumps 0.2 blocks high while walking. Bunny hop jumps up to 6 blocks long while walking. I mean, I did a mod review on this, I think, um, in the Drag OP mod, so I'm not going to go over that right now where this video is going to be too long. It's like already 10 minutes already. Okay, we also got Fast Break um, next on the list. Makes you break blocks faster. Okay, let's turn that on. We can we could use some um, speed while breaking blocks. Oh my god. So this is... Oh my... Holy crap, dude. Oh my god. So this... Oh, this gives you the ability of creative in survival. Like, dude, literally look at this. I'm not taking any time build, like breaking these blocks. Oh my god, this this mod, this mod is the best, the absolute best. Okay, let's just turn that off, shall we? Next up, we have flights. What does flight do? Enables you to fly. You need to disable flights um, to walk. Oh, I mean, why not? Um, I can I can fly. Um, yeah, why why not? I I'll, I'll do that. Um, so yeah, as you guys can see, I, I'm I'm flying. Okay, that that's that's really nice. Um. For for um, PVP, I guess I, I don't know why would why anyone would want to use this mod um, since we already have creative. Next up on the list, we have step. Y'all know what step is. It just makes you climb um, wh whatever height block of your choice. As you guys can see, I'm about to climb Mount Everest right here. I mean, well, not Mount Everest, but um, okay. This is um, I I think. Um, Intangibility is still on, so I'm gonna turn that off and I will be right back. Okay, we are back, so as you guys can see, intangibility is not on anymore. We can't walk into walls, we're just banging our heads on the wall right here, which is gonna hurt, Steve. Um, hopefully, you do not mind. Okay, let's get right into it, shall we? Where were we? I think we were at step. Yes, yeah, step, y'all know what that is. We just like literally. Climb whatever height blocks, uh, I mean, of your choice, which is really nice. Okay, let's just turn um, that off. Holy crap, this is a long mod menu, as you guys can see. Oh, but we're almost there. We're almost there. Just hang in with me, guys. Hang in with me. We also have better step um, on the mod menu next up, and it says automatically climbs walls with that lighter. So basically, this is climb, I guess, better step. It's just it's just climb. Let's just test it out as you guys can see we are climbing this wall like a pro Holy crap, dude. Okay, that's that's really nice. I mean why not? Oh, okay screen lag you got to stop right there Thank you very much um, But yeah, let's just turn that off since um, we do not need it anymore next up. We have dolphin. Holy crap dolphin um, If you guys do not know what what it is um, it basically it's water walk um, in some way, um, Jesus in some way, but um, it's a new, let, let's just take the, this, it's the new coding of water walk. So they also, um, obviously, they also have the old coding of water walk on this mod too, but as you guys can see, I'm walking through this water like Jesus Christ himself, like look at that. Um, Okay, I don't want to get any religious problems in my videos, or else um, I'm gonna get copyright striked. Okay, so let's um, just freaking turn um, Dolphin off, and we are good. Next up, we have Glide. Obviously, y'all know what that is. It just makes you glide around. I'm not gonna show this off. Everybody knows how to use this mod. We also have Speed Glide. Okay, what does Speed Speed uh, Speed Guide? I mean Glide. Uh, holy crap, dude. Okay, so as I was saying, Speed Glide makes you glide faster, best used to bypass anti-shoes. So as you guys, I mean, if you guys don't know, some servers have very, very good anti-shoes, but that can detect glide, um, which um, in the past, um, they couldn't. But now with Speed Glide, oh my god, it is um, one heck of a mod. As you guys can see, holy crap. Well, I guess I'm screwed. Okay, guys, so we are back. Um, next up on the list is Fast Ice. I think I have shown Fast Ice on 
Um, let's see, was it Hydem or Virus? Um, but it was one of Vero X Code's clients, and it is a really useful thing. If you're um, walking on ice or you're trying to ex escape from somebody on ice, it just speeds you up, um, obviously, from the name. Let's get right into the other one. We got Chess Tracers um, also, obviously. Um, as you guys can see, I've played some pre-played some chess, and yeah, the tracers are working just as fine. What this does is it, well, it basically uses particles to tell you where chests are, which is really useful in factions or any server where chests are um, really valued or precious or something like that. Well, up um, on our list next is criticals, which is currently not working because it's still under development. So we're gonna skip that under block. Oh my god, Underblock. Oh my god, that's the that's one of the coolest mods um, ever. It automatically places invisible bedrock beneath you. Oh, and yes, this does work on servers. Um, I have tested this out. Like, let's, let's just try this out, shall we? As you guys can see, Jesus Christ, I am not even flying right now. I am not flying. Th this is... This is overpowered. I don't know how they do this, but holy crap, dude. I'm speechless right now. I am literally speechless. Okay, let's just turn that off before our world um, crashes yet another time. Let's just walk out of those invisible bedrock borders. But as you guys can see, invisible bedrock, I can't continue walking anymore in this sector. So we're just going to go away from there. And go on to our next mod. We're getting close to the end. We're getting close to the end. So just hang in with me. Next up, we got text to toast. I have did that also in Drago Peas or let's see, um, hide him. I guess I'm not sure, but I have also did that. We also got chords, as you guys can see on the left side on the screen is the X Y Z. We're currently in 2291. Um, 5 and negative 1203 oh, or 1203, oh, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, let's just turn cores off. We also have Plarius, but we're going to test that out in servers um, later on in the second part of the video. But this is the first part, um, uh, just a reminder. Next up, we got Nuker. Holy crap, dude, our world just crashed. Okay, guys, I'm definitely not testing out Nuker anymore because every time I do it, it crashes my world and it is bad. It is just really bad. Okay, next up we have High Jump, which is also a new mod. Makes you jump higher. It says that in the description. Okay, I mean, why not? So sometimes you need to be a freaking vegetable eating bunny. I mean, yeah, um, that, that's that's really bad. But yeah, as you guys can see, I am jumping um, maybe two blocks high, maybe three blocks high. I'm not sure, but it definitely does make you jump higher. Okay, let's just turn that off. Next up, we got stealth. Hides the um, mod button, so as I turn it on, as you guys can see, no more mod button on the top corner of the screen anymore but um, if you remember where it is you can just click on the blank space and it will just pop up I don't recommend using stealth because um, it makes it a ghost client and I don't really like ghost clients um, okay next up we have armor force enchant what does it do force and chance your arm the armor you are holding works only with Genesis servers so what he means by Genesis servers right here is basically faction servers with um, not not too much plugins like or no anti cheat or really weak anti cheats such as leet anti cheats. I mean those anti cheats, not uh, they are they are bad. But let's just get a piece of armor um, or some pieces of armor on our hands and yeah. Um, let's just turn that on. Holy crap, dude. Let's see the in inch. Oh, oh my god. Look at that. Fire protection 255, thorns 255, death strider. I guess it used every enchant possible and set it to 255. Okay, that is that is cool. Next up, we have tool force enchant. Force enchants the tool that you are holding also only works in Genesis servers. Okay, let's, um, you know what? We are going to enchant. Hmm, what shall we enchant? Um, 
A fishing rod. Yes, uh, out of all the things that I could choose, I chose a fishing rod. Now, the comments will be blazing with noob and all that jazz. But yeah, um, breaking and um, I don't know, luck of the sea? I think so. Um, but yeah, force and chance, the stuff that you're holding, that's really nice. Okay, next up we got solid to liquid. Obviously, you guys know what that means. Um, so basically, anything that's liquid turns into solid. So first of all, let's just place some of that very nifty difty water down. Next up, let's just place some of that nifty difty lava down. Okay, looking absolutely fantabulous. Ice and fire, why not? Um, okay, now let's just turn that on. As you guys can see, this is the old coating of Jesus. Um, makes you, um, I mean, it just makes the liquid blocks into solid blocks, which is really nice. And also, you do not burn while standing on lava in survival mode, which is also really, really nice. Okay, let's just turn that off. And no barrier. What does that do? It enables you to walk through barriers, invisible walls. So, yeah, let's just get ourselves, um, I mean, let's just turn that on first of all. And let's just get ourselves um, some invisible bedrock. Do we have any invisible bedrock in toolbox? Um, is this, um, this is, this is, this is something. Okay. Uh, I guess this is invisible bedrock. Okay. I mean, it's okay. I, I'm just going to place some invisible bedrock down. And as you guys can see, walking through it's absolutely, absolutely easy. Um, so basically you can walk through anything by using this, even invisible bedrock. Okay, that's that's really nice. Okay, let's just turn that off. We also have fast soul sand that makes you walk um, faster on soul sand, uh, according to the name. Um, let's just get ourselves some of that nifty difty soul sand. Where is the soul sand? Oh, there we go. Very nice looking, fantabulous soul sand. Um, but this does not look like soul sand. Um, but I mean, I'll take it. Makes you walk faster on soul sand? Yes, it does. It really does make you walk faster on soul sand. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. <clears throat> um, had to clear my throat right there. Um, black, block cobweb is next up. Basically what it does is it turns cobwebs, which is um, not technically a block, into a block. And same for block fire, which is under... Um, block cobweb. Okay, so let's just get ourselves um, a flint and steel and um, Do we have cobwebs around here? I am not there we go. There we go there That's a definite cobweb and let's just set this ground on fire. Shall we? Okay looking really swaglicious um, Turn that on turn that on. Okay, so now it is time for magic as you guys can see walking on cobwebs walking on fire and if I um, go in if I choose cobwebs in my inventory there is a slight change to the texture as you guys can see it is a block um, from now on in the game and if you break it it's it's it just gives you this cool texture um, like this and fire is like looking just looking really good okay um, okay next up we have uh, slow motion um, okay we're getting towards the end one more mod and then we're we're ending this video. Finally, I am really tired right now, but yeah, for you guys, anything. Slow motion slows the game for 15 seconds. I don't know why um, 15 seconds, but somehow 15 seconds. Yeah, as you guys can see, it is going really slow right now. It is going really slow, but I'm counting. Uh, we are at 10 seconds right now. 5, 4, 3, 2, one. There we go. Holy crap. I was I, I was accurate for once. Okay, but as you guys can see, yeah, 15 seconds of slowness in your life and it's a really awesome mod. I don't know why you would want to use it though. Finally, we have night vision. First of all, before night vision, obviously we'll have to change the time to night. Um, okay. What night vision does, y'all already know what night vision does. It just, it just whenever you break a block or anything, it just makes you see better um, in the darkness, which is really, really nice if you're digging in caves and you forgot your torches 
um, and all that jazz. But yeah, I think that's going to do for today's uh, mod review. Part 1, obviously. But there will be a part 2, I promise you guys. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please smack that like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. And that cobweb is looking funny, but still, it's a cobweb. Okay. But yeah, um, I hope you guys are having a nice day if you are. Um, then please do keep having one. If you are not, then please have a nice day. Um, let's see. Download link will be in the description. Um, all prots go to FirePro9978 and Godsoft29. And by the way, guys, before I end this video, please, if you have any hack clients, please submit them. Give me um, your links um, in the comment section or send them to my Gmail. The Gmail is in the about or the description of my channel. But until then, peace out.